so it is Monday, July 17th, and I have just today started internment, which is my only read for the Wheel of D20 for this month. This is for a book that had gray on the cover, and so far I'm only a couple chapters in. Um, I'm like two and a half chapters in at this point, but this book is already very, very heavy. This takes place basically just after the election of basically what would be considered Donald Trump. It is very, very coded Donald Trump time, basically, but you're following a young Muslim girl who essentially is at the forefront of a lot of the trauma that is going on in this time because basically after the election, a lot of Islamophobia really comes out of the woodwork like it did during the 2016 election period. And so, yeah, this is heavy. This is very, very heavy. And I think that the actual main plot of the story is coming in which I believe has to do with the fact that the family gets placed into an internment camp, which is not gonna be fun to read about. I have a feeling this one's gonna be really hard for me to get through because it's gonna just be so heavy on my heart and on my mind. Anyway, um, like I said, I'm only a few chapters into it, so I'll come back when I've reached around like 100 pages um, of internment and kind of talk a little bit more about what the main plot of it is. Because I, like I said, I do believe that the plot has something to do with the fact that Either her parents are placed in, in, in an internment camp or she is with them um, and we'll kind of go from there. So check back in a little bit. The book is not very long. It's a YA contemporary um, and so it's about 373 pages and the audiobook is like 11 hours. So I should be able to get through a lot of it today. We'll just check back in when I've reached 100 pages. Hey guys, sorry if you can hear the air conditioner in the background, um, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a hassle. Um, so I'm over a hundred pages into internment. <sighs> this book is rough and rough in the means of it being a very scary and emotional and terrifying kind of story. This is basically about a young girl named Layla who she and her family after the election of basically what is coded to be, like I said earlier, Donald Trump. Muslims are specifically targeted. I'm sure there's other groups that are also targeted throughout this story, but they are heavily targeted in this book. And so much so that somehow the government creates this like organization that is called the executive authority, something like that. And they literally start taking Muslim people and putting them in internment camps. If you don't know what an internment camp is, it is basically a camp where tons of people are placed in and they're basically just created to ostracize them from the rest of society and ostracize that each other because then they're also set up in certain communities in this case where all of the desi people are together all the pakistani people are together so on and so forth especially like in terms of the specific kind of muslim community that they are a part of so there's going to be some form of like ism within all of the Muslim people. And that is talked about a little bit with Layla in terms of the fact that she and a girl that she meets in the camp um, are from the same community and they meet somebody who is from a different community. Looking at the story itself, objectively not looking at the exact subject matter um samira's writing very nice very simplistic it's a ya contemporary so to be expected um it's a little bit i think heavy on the metaphors and a little heavy on the similes basically i don't know like there's something about the way that she writes that is it's trying to be abstract in some ways, but it's just kind of coming off as pretentious for a older teenager, like high school senior kind of thing. 
Um, I just feel like, I don't know, something about the way that this is written is kind of like trying to be grounded, but it's actually sounding kind of the opposite in a lot of ways. So it's fine. Um, the core of the story is what it is. Um, it's, it's really hard to talk about this book because for one, I am not in the community of which is being targeted in this book. I am the complete antithesis of the character that is in this book that is being targeted. I am a white woman who doesn't really have to worry about these kinds of things happening to me. And it's books like this that I appreciate because it helps me to check my privilege and to check the fact that I am never going to be in a position where I have to worry about my religion, my way of life. Because I am a white woman, people are going to make first assumptions that I am like them. I will never have to deal with the prejudice, the ridicule, the animosity, the, the fear that is associated with people like me. At least to the degree of that, of the far-right, ultra-racist group that is involved in this, that is attacking minority groups and attacking people that practice a religion other than Christianity. And I know that there's more nuance to me than just being a white woman. I am not necessarily a Christian person. I am not a straight, fully person. I am a mentally ill individual. I am a woman, which is not necessarily like a majority in the eyes of society. But what privilege I do have is important for me to recognize. And this book is really, like, once again, having me check that. And I, oh, I always appreciate books that have me check this privilege because I think that the reason it impacts me so much when I read these books is because by checking my privilege, I'm understanding and I'm recognizing the amount of harm that is done to groups of people like this and the kind of harm that is done that is then perpetrated and is then intensified by those that are witnessing it, by those that are absorbing that. Hey guys, so I have reached 200 pages in internment. I'm on chapter 19, page 206. I'm over halfway through this now. This is so frustrating um, because not just of the content, but some of the things that are happening in it, I'm, I'm not a fan of. Um, there's some choices that are made in terms of relationships that I do not think work and I don't like the way that they come about. Um, it just, it doesn't gel with me, really. Um, but the core of the story is still something that is incredibly frustrating by itself because of the fact that this is something that could actually have happened. And it's very scary to think about somebody being put in this situation and feeling as if they have no hope, that they have no ability to get out of this situation. At this point, the book is definitely a four star. I do like the writing for the most part. There's, like I said, some choices that I think on the author's part I would have personally stayed away from. Again, I feel like the biggest thing for me that's the 
the biggest drawback to this is there's just some choices I would have not made with this um, in terms of like the way that the story's developed, the way that it's formatted in some way, like in terms of the, like the story, um, the relationships is kind of the one thing that's really bothering me with this. So it's so far a four star, but obviously the content that's involved in it is very upsetting. It's very um, humbling in a lot of ways. And that is not what I'm commenting on. It is more the comment of outside of this situation, a relationship that builds in this story, I am not a fan of. I do not think it is appropriate. I do not think it is, um, I think it's very skeevy. And I think it's a very manipulative or can be a very manipulative kind of relationship. And I'm just, I'm not a fan. I'm not. I don't know what the point of it is. I don't feel the feelings that I normally would for any kind of a romantic storyline in this kind of a story. Just don't, I don't like it. It kind of feels icky. 200 pages in, over 50% of the way through. Um, and I'm going to be hopefully finishing this tomorrow because the book is only 370 some pages. Yeah, 373 pages. So I'm going to finish this tomorrow and then I'll come back with some more uh, like full final thoughts of this and that'll be it for the Wheel of D20 for July because I only had the one book for this month. So that'll be awesome. But uh, I'm going to head off to basically wind down for bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is now Wednesday. It is currently 9.47 and I have just finished internment by Samara Ahmed. Um, Ahmed, something like that. I'm, I apologize for the mispronunciation. Um, I've already talked pretty much the story to death, I feel like. And I don't want to say too much more, but what I will say is the overall ending of this was fine. It was really sad. One of the things I've loved about this, like I've said before, is this fact that this is so very much what could happen, is happening to some degree as it stands now. And... I don't know, just the way that this was written was so fun and so quick to fly through that I had forgotten that I read like almost half the book in one day today. I only gave it a four out of five stars though, just because there were some things that I didn't necessarily like, I didn't necessarily think were appropriate or just kind of didn't sit right with me, but it had nothing to do with the representation of it. It was purely the choices of the author um, in terms of relationships with the main character and um, certain things about characters that I thought were a little excessive maybe or didn't need to be expressed, didn't need to be delved into exactly but with that this now completes the wheel of d20 for me for the month of july so i now in august have a free month um i am debating on holding off on the wheel of d20 for the rest of the year because i want to do something a little different starting in like september and because I technically have a free month in August, that means I don't have to do the Wheel of D20 in August. Um, but I kind of want to do something a little different. I don't know. I, I'm still debating on it. I may see if my mind changes in the next handful of weeks, but let me know if you like these kinds of videos, if you like the Wheel of D20 TBR stuff, um, because if, if there's enough people that like it, I may just decide you know, to stick with that and go back to it again in September um, or something. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I feel like there's something I would like to be able to do that I would like to be able to utilize for other platforms as well. But 
I don't know whether or not that is something I want to do 100%. I'm kind of like, I could do it. I could, you know, stick with what I'm doing. I'm not quite sure. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, if you would be interested in something a little different, if you would be interested in seeing still the Wheel of D20 um, as part of my TBR, or I should switch to something a little different. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you'd like to be and would like to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owlette in our flock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys.